keep going. Whoa, whoa, what are you? Noodle cup, corn, I'm gonna repeat this little dog tags. Athletic outfit. Okay then. Whiskey. Whiskey. When it's out, jet. I'll take that jet from you, sir. Ooh, this is a double bag. Very nice. I can make some foodie foods if I wanted to. I don't want it. So hey, here we go. Stuff. Box. Mattress. Cool. Is this is where I have to go. I happen to think that it is. Let's go. What? 29 that way, actually. Nope, never mind. Oh, dang. I got scared. Well, where is this thing? Is it like up on the rooftops? Or what? Good place to be over there. Turn him back, because we can. It's free. It's an open world game. I can do whatever I want. Can't control me, life, or something like that. Oh man, what am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to do this? Could I have gone up there? There's nobody here. There it freaking is. What is this? Okay, good. We're here. Holy cow. Finally. This looks like a nice upstanding place to be, but I do not have to have my gun out. Hey, hold up there. What do you want? I'm a good neighbor? Can't go walking around without insurance. What? Back off insurance, sarcastic. Unless it's keep dumb assholes away from me, insurance. <laughs> I'm not interested. Now don't be like that. good. I think you're gonna like what I have on offer. You oh. hand over everything you got in their pockets, or accidents start happening to you. Big, bloody accidents. Someone steps through the gate the first time, they're a guest. You lay off that extortion crap. I don't do think you care. He ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn. I said let him go. You saw Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new man. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. Oh, dang. <gasps> Now why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Breaking my heart over here. You all right, brother? Yeah, uh, I guess so. Thank you. Your face, you killed him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. your face. I mean, like, I know about his face, but this, the, the, my character doesn't, so. I'm fine. Thanks for taking care of him. Good. Now don't let this incident taint your view of our little community. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome good neighbor well I mean like I don't think good neighbors full of very good neighbors of the people for the people oh, brother <laughs> I can tell I'm gonna like you already just consider this town your home away from home so long as you remember who's in charge right well don't worry Hancock you're cool I like you let's talk to some other people around here what about you excuse me Fahrenheit player in good name. I have it for Hello, Celsius, Hancock. but I'm just kidding. Welcome to our fun and games. I guess so. What about this guy? Hi. Whoever this Brotherhood of Steel is, I'm not buying that come in peace malarkey. Okay. Ooh, look at this dude. <clears throat> Brotherhood of Steel. Better stay out of good neighbor. All I'm saying. Alright, sweet. Hi. Hey there. Oh, new face walks into my store. And you're not even screaming yet. 
very polite. You let me know if anything catches your fancy. All right, yeah, barter. Let's do this. I've got a few minutes to browse. All the supplies, money, or violence can buy. All right, that was fun. Bought some stuff. Bought a lot of ammo and whatnot. And let's just walk around and have some fun and do stuff. Yay. She can't see me up here. Feeling everything. Well, there's a classic. What? You didn't see me steal crap, did you? Good. I'm sure she tells people. Like, frickin'. I'm taking everything, if that's okay with you. I think we could become good friends this way. Empty milk bottle. Bro. Hi. Okay. Canned dog food, duct tape, hot plate. That's one hot plate. Cooking stove. I was looking around, lady. Take that. She, she can't see me, she's turning around, but I'm gonna quick save just in case she does catch me. Oh, how fine. What the? No, uh, never mind. Okay. Uh, she does catch you somehow. That's fine. I'm gonna go. Oh, you're bad. Can't get enough looks of this lovely figure of mine. <laughs> yep. No? Definitely. Mm. Ooh, can I steal stuff off this dude? All right, all right. Now, where, where do I head? Head back this way. Yes, good neighbor. A place for good neighbors. Even though everybody here is not a good neighbor. How odd. Okay. Vodka. Valentine's here? Really? Alright. Let's screw them. I don't care if they well, don't like it. Well, Mr. Valentine, I thought you had forgotten about the loaning. May I have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Hmm. Is that Bim being sly? Oh, downstairs, you big flirt. Okay, do I talk to her? Here for Amari. She's downstairs. Oh, well then. Sweet, let's head downstairs. Is this where we're supposed to go? No, it's not. Where am I supposed to go? Where's the downstairs? Where is down at? Oh, down here. Okay, sweet. We're good. Dr. Amari? Yes. I take it this isn't a social call. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, it's sarcastic. Doctor, it's time for you to reverse death itself. What? Uh, I wouldn't have put it quite that way, but it's true. We need a dead man's memories. A guy named Kellogg. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse. You don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Well, dang. I mean, technically, the corpse was defiled already. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Could you say that like Dr. Frankenstein? Ego, fetch me the brain. No? No, I will not. <laughs> now, do you have it? Uh, uh, the brain? How much of the brain do you need exactly? That is not an encouraging question. I suppose I'll have to make do with whatever you can find. Okay. Wait, did I actually have to go and get it? Like, really? 
Like, uh, if I say here you go, hang on, I want a quick save. Okay, if I say here you go, here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is. Wait, that's the hippocampus. Okay, good. And I didn't actually. Thing attached to it, a neural interface. Ah, those circuits look awfully. F I'm not surprised. All right. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Brain's still good. Is Nick compatible? Skip the science. Go on. Yeah, I'm very interested. Go on, Doctor. Mr. Valentine is an older generation synth. But Institute technology being what it is, the brain implant could fit him. <gasps> that's an incredible risk to take. We're talking about wiring something to his brain. Don't worry about me, Amari. I'm well past the warranty date anyway. Oh, that was sad. We should try plugging you into a toaster next. Mmm, fresh toast. Uh, it's nice to know that even when I'm about to have a foreign object shoved into my noggin, you find new horrible ways to laugh at my expense. Whenever you're oh, ready, okay, that kind of made me feel bad. Just sit down. If I start cackling but it's like fine. an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Let's see. You got it. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lot on the memories in the implant. Well, what are we gonna do about it? Way to way to break it? You're kidding me. A lock? Is Nick okay? I mean like I don't know, I kinda made him feel bad last time, so is Nick gonna be okay? Yes, the connections appear to be stable. Hopefully it'll be as simple as unplugging the implant once we're done. But that doesn't get around the current problem. The memory encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we used to? Oh we my gosh. Both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. We're gonna mind the link your this. Functions in parallel. He'll act as a host while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. Pacific Rim this, man. Nick and I are gonna share a mind. Yeah, I'm not gonna see him in any compromising positions, am I? Now, if a smart mouth was all it took to solve the problems, we would have found your son by now. Oh. Uh, no. <laughs> you won't have to worry about that. The only memories you'll access are the ones in the implant. Oh, okay. Uh, what will happen? Any idea what I'm gonna see in there? I have no clue. But considering we only have a single piece of the medial temporal lobe and not the whole brain, I doubt it'll be... Cohesive. All right, yeah, let's do it. All right, let's get started. Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. Dang, doctors work so much faster in See you on the... the other side. Okay, do I get to sit in a pod? I don't know, I should have grabbed that health stuff over there first. Oh, dude, it's just like Vault 112, I think it was. Yeah, Vault 112. I had the mind freaking transfer stuff with the Sword Art Online. Between the transplant and the host. Okay. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. Yay. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. Okay. It might not be stable. Just hold on. I was just at the side like, sup? I'm like, oh, okay, it's cool. Let's go in. Let's do this.